My coverage of CES 2019 is brought to you by Corsair, Enermax, Deepcool, and Cooler Master. Hey guys, welcome to my continuing coverage of CES 2019. I am not in Las Vegas again. I am still here in my studio. I have a new case from Fantex. This is the Eclipse P600S. Let me start by thanking my sponsors for CES 2019, Cooler Master, Corsair, Enermax, and Deepcool. And last year in 2018 at Computex, Fantex had a couple new cases. They had the Evolve X, which got a lot of attention, and they did launch in limited numbers last year. And then there was this, which was sitting over in the corner, the P600S, it was a very prototype early version of it, but it got a lot of people's attention and folks have been asking about it. And Fantex was supposed to launch it in December. It got pushed back a little bit, but I have a retail box version now. I believe this is a white one and uh, I'm excited for a new case in the Eclipse lineup because if you compare this to like the P400, it's a very good case for a very reasonable price. And I'm hoping that continues with the P600S. I don't have pricing or availability right now, but if I do, maybe it'll pop up on screen over there. In either case, I'm going to take this out of the box, give you guys a first look at it. So this front panel is held on by magnets and apart from it hanging loose in the box, the unboxing experience felt pretty premium. You have nice closed cell foam on the packaging. It's held together by cardboard, which is maybe a unique in between cost saving measure for that. And we have this nice accessory kit that says, thank you for choosing Fantex. Our accessory kit includes a book about the case, something about RMA requests and contacting Fantex directly. Uh, it looks like we have some individual drive caddies. I feel like it says a lot about a case when you look at the drive expansion caddies, whether you're talking three and a half or two and a half inch drives. The cheap ones are, are made of plastic and there's not much thought put into them. These are fully wrap around. They have a little bit of uh, foam padding on one side of them. And it looks like we have mounts for both two and a half inch or three and a half inch drives. Four drive trays total are included. Rounding things out, we got a Fantex case badge. Uh, we got some zip ties. We have a plastic container with individually separated screws, standoffs, and other accessories. Can't say how much I appreciate that Fantex does this. And then we have these three mysterious pieces, which I, I'm not really sure what they do, but I'm sure I'll figure it out as I move along. I know this is supposed to support two systems with an ITX mount in the top, so I'm guessing these are to mount one of those. I figured out these last three accessories with help from the manual. Very nice manual. Also, by the way, full color uh, with like the things on the different setups you can have, water cooling, air cooling, storage. This is an airflow cover. So if you're mounting top radiators and you can support two 140s or three 120s at the top, you can put this at the front of the back or wherever you might want to block airflow to direct the air that does go through through your radiator. This is a vertical GPU mount. So it mounts right down here. So you can do a vertical GPU. It does not include the riser cable though. So you have to buy that separately. And then this is a GPU SAG support bracket. I, I don't know exactly how it works, but probably goes like there somewhere. All right, guys, I have read through the manual and now I think I'm ready to give you a, sort of a once over of this case, explain the ins and outs and how things work and kind of what things are made for. So as you can see, this is the white version with black accents. Got a bit of a stormtrooper feel to it, I suppose, as all black and white shiny things will have forever now. But it's a full size case. It supports ATX and EATX motherboards. And as mentioned, it does support dual systems in the same way that the Evolve X does. It's got a separate panel back here where you can put an ITX system at the top. It does require a separate bracket for that that is sold separately though. So bear that in mind. And of course, you're gonna deal with the thermal potential issues of having two systems in the same case, which may or may not work out for you depending on what you're doing with those systems. But of course, then you would also want the Fantex PSU adapter that allows you to power two systems with the same power supply. Power supply mounts down here at the bottom, pretty standard. It does have a dust filter attached to it down there. Pretty easy to reach. Back here, you can see one of the pre-installed 140 millimeter fans. These have sliders so you can move them up and down a little bit. Uh, and then it's got three vertical expansion slots there if you do use the vertical riser card. Up here is the front IO. It flips up like that and then you've got a USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C port, as well as a couple USB 3.0 ports. There's also a, a reset button right there, as well as a mic and headphone jack. The power button is up here on top. Now the panels on this case, like this front panel here, are, are very, they're heavy. The metal they're using is pretty thick and it's got sound dampening behind there as well. And the edges are wrapped around, so very rigid. It's held on by magnets. And then Fantex actually has a mesh or fabric dust filter up here in the front. And I'm sure that's gonna require some further testing to see how effective it is. It looks like it's pretty effective at dust. How much air does it actually block though will be an important thing. But I imagine with both of those together, you wouldn't hear much out, out of the front of this system. And there are some vents along the edges as well to pull some other fresh air in too. So you're not just completely relying on this front filter, which with this piece on is pretty blocked. 
There's a similar piece up on top, not exactly the same, but same general design. And then that is where the exhaust would be for your radiators if you had a top radiator. And again, uh, two by 140 or three by 120 in the top, three by 120 or three by 140 in the front, and then a 120 or 140 at the back as far as radiator support. Now I always appreciate a side panel that you can remove easily. And this one's easy to open. You just reach up there and pull it again, held by magnets. And then you can lift it off here as well. However, mine really does not lift off very easily. This is also propped up on a very wobbly Lazy Susan, so that's not helping me at all. All right, and there I popped it off. I'm imagining that's just a tooling issue, maybe for manufacturing. I'm gonna tell Fantex about that. There is some additional foam padding around the sides here though. Uh, it's actually the grooved kind that you have for like weatherproofing in a home kind of. But I imagine that's gonna help prevent vibration when the case is closed, and then also probably help uh, leaky air from going in or out. Here's a better look at the inside of the case. We have two pre-installed 140 millimeter Fantex fans up there at the front. These black things are cable covers and they actually can be slid one way or the other. So as you're doing your cable management back there, uh, you can leave those on or you can remove those. If you remove those, you have the option to mount hard drive trays back there. There are mounts for those and actually you can get additional hard drive caddies if uh, the four that it ships with aren't enough for you. You can also stack two of these cages together and then you can mount that in there together. So you could have up to eight 3.5 inch drives up here. And then on the other side, I've been wondering what this little ribbon is. That's just, just a pull tab. Pulling that out though lets you remove the other side panel and this one is metal, not tempered glass, in case you didn't notice. And unfortunately, it's having the same sticky problem coming off as the tempered glass one did. That one was a little bit easier. And here's the business end of the case. Uh, up here is where your power supply go. You've got two more mounting points for these drive cages down here at the bottom. So you have a more forward position or a further back position. You can also mount a universal pump mount down here, although that is not included with the case. On this side, you have cable management via Velcro straps. So you can just undo that to write your cables through. They're actually doubled up. So you've got uh, strappy parts on either side of this, as well as a couple more across there at the bottom. Three 2.5 inch drive mounts right here with including included metal trays once again, and those are just held on by rubber grommets. And then up in the top left, you have an included fan hub. Uh, one is a sense cable that you plug into your motherboard. It says it can accept either PWM or voltage control. And then the hub is actually smart enough to translate. So if you have PWM and voltage controlled fans connected, it'll translate your RPM control from your motherboard and send out the right signal to either one. Oh, one other thing, this GPU anti-sag sag bracket actually attaches back here. Uh, so it's one of the ones that holds the GPU on this side. So it holds the tab sturdy so that you don't get sag on the other side. You can take the top of the case off pretty easily with a couple thumb screws here at the back and the entire thing just lifts off. And then here's that top bracket, again, held with a couple thumb screws. So there's some cable routing options here. There is a fill port hole right there. And again, this uh, bracket can hold up to three 120 millimeter or 240 millimeter fans. And this is where this uh, panel can pop on with some magnets to block air where you don't want air to flow. Here's a look at the bottom of the case, just a single dust filter. And then you got some rubber pads on the bottom of the feet. The power supply mount does have a gap right here. So your power supply would show through if you have a fancy one and you want the label to be visible. And finally the front piece, which pulls off in a very similar way to lots of front pieces on computer cases. This is actually a pretty solid piece altogether itself with the metal frame here and then plastic in there as well. This is the removable dust filter. This is the fabric filter, so not sure how this is gonna affect actual airflow performance, but I do appreciate the ability to have dust filters rather than not. And again, behind is the 240 millimeter pre-included intake fans. And then they also have a drain port uh, right down there at the bottom. Although I don't know how accessible that is given that it's gonna be behind this. I guess it's somewhat accessible. All right, one other random thing I noticed in my initial look is that if you have this cover on the top to block and direct your airflow, the top here has two little tabs that the fabric mesh is kind of stretched around and that conflicts with that piece. So you can't put the top on all the way. Isn't that great? It's the same thing I was just talking about, just the view from the other side. These are the tabs. Kind of wedge it, but not really. So guys, that is my unboxing overview and first look at the new Fantex P600S, a long awaited case. And I, I kind of have mixed feelings about it. I do like the finished look. I really like what they've done with the metal throughout and it feels really solidly built. It's like a tank, uh, especially the metal pieces. When you pull them off, you can just, you're like, wow, I could, I could hurt someone with this. 
There's also a ton of space and flexibility inside, whether you're looking for an air-cooled build or water-cooled build. And I do like the option for all the dust filters that we have everywhere. Uh, just gonna be a question of how much those are gonna affect actual airflow. And for that, it's gonna require a bit further testing and maybe somebody who's actually gonna put a system inside it as well. I already made my complaints as I was going over the system, but just to reiterate, uh, I would like it if these side panels could be lifted off the hinges a lot more easily. And definitely this plastic cover that is shown in the manual to be placeable in the place where I put it shouldn't cause a conflict with reinstalling the top of the case. That said, these issues could probably be addressed by Fantex for future runs of this case, so hopefully that's something they can fix in the future. I'll be looking forward to people actually putting systems together in this. I think an, an epic water-cooled RGB system, classy, of course, classy RGB, uh, would be great to see in there too. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments section down below about the new Fantex Eclipse P600S. Also, a huge thank you to my sponsors for CES 2019, Cooler Master, Corsair, Deep Cool and Enermax. Thanks again for watching this video, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.